Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. I hope you are all understanding the videos that have been uploaded. So this following video is for class 5 subject EVS lesson 13 amazing energy part 2. So in part 1 we learned what is this amazing energy. Energy is very very important for us to do work isn't it when what do we say when the work is done it is said that work is done only when the force applied on an object makes the object move in the direction of the force only when the object moves then only it is called as the work is done so that uh, to do any kind of work we need energy so energy is required to displace any object from one place to another so there are different forms of energy and there are different uses of these energies also what are the different forms of energy muscular energy mechanical energy heat energy solar energy wind energy stored energy of water electrical energy bio energy chemical energy fuel energy so these 10 are the different forms of energy okay so here flying aeroplane in the space running vehicle on land sailing boat or ship on water electrical appliances which are used to ease our daily works all use one or the other form of energy all these things the pictures that you can see on your screen the aeroplane the vehicles the ship the boat or the mixer the table fan the iron box all these things they use different forms of energy to make our life easier so here observe different forms of energy in the picture given below activities happen not only by human beings but also several activities take place naturally in the environment energy is essential for all these activities to take place let us know what is that essential energy so i will be reading from page number 165 please try to follow if you have your textbooks with you different types of works depend upon its related energy there is a natural energy in the environment sun air water coal etc are the sources of energy used in certain daily activities in the environment let us learn about the different forms of energy so the first form of energy is the muscular energy. Muscular energy means activities like walking, climbing, pulling, pushing, etc. needs muscular energy. This energy is released by the chemical changes in our body. This is the our strength or the energy in our body is called the muscular energy. The energy with which we can do things. We can do some, uh, some works like walking, climbing sitting pulling pushing any kind of work that we do requires muscular energy what do our in, uh, elders insist we take nutritious food because nutritious food will help us increase our muscular energy write for uh, write any four works you do using the muscular energy you can write any kinds of work here children okay next is mechanical energy mechanical energy means energy of an object by virtue of its position is called potential energy the position of any object it is called the potential energy it has the potential to do some work and the energy due to its motion is called the kinetic energy when the uh, object is moving when the car is moving it is said to have the kinetic energy when the car stops it stops and it is called the potential energy some of these potential energy and the kinetic energy is called the mechanical energy that means when the car is standing it has potential energy when the car is moving it has kinetic energy only when the car is moving it has kinetic energy so when you add the potential energy and the kinetic energy it gives us the mechanical energy now uh, water stored in a dam possesses potential energy another example when the stored water is in the dam is allowed through 
outflow through that crest gates the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy right any two works you can do at home using mechanical energy these activities you will write on your own okay so mechanical energy means potential energy and kinetic energy this is the representation so what is potential energy energy processed by a body by virtue of its position then kinetic energy means energy processed by a body by virtue of its motion a potential energy the energy when it is standing the potential uh, kinetic energy the energy when it is able to move okay next is heat energy we do our daily works by getting heat from the and uh, from different energy like firewood sun fuel etc now write any two works done in your home using heat energy what can be done boiling water cooking food right then here rub your palms rigorously for some time and touch your cheeks how do you feel you will feel the heat energy in your hands okay in your palms here muscular energy gets converted into heat energy we cook food boil water and do other works using the heat energy from the fuel firewood gas kerosene etc during winter season condensed oil bottles are kept near the heat flames or in the sunlight why because this uh, condensed oil bottles they become um, they solidify when they are kept away from the sunlight so keeping it in the sunlight it can become liquid okay heat is released when the fuel is burned coal is used as fuel in thermal power stations to produce electricity so the next energy is the solar energy so next is the solar energy sun is the main source of all energies on the earth so that energy from the sun is called the solar energy the energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy living organisms depend on solar energy for their survival plants prepare their food using sunlight this process is called photosynthesis you all know about the process of photosynthesis right plants can prepare uh, food only in the presence of photo uh, only in the presence of sunlight so that process is called photosynthesis then there is one activity in page number 168 during summer wet clothes exposed to direct sunlight dry very fast because of the evaporations happen fast in the sunlight water level decreases in the ponds and wells during summer because of the evaporation people wait for sunlight during winter season why because in winter season we feel very cold and we uh, crave for the warmth of the sunlight why is solar water heater used because uh, the solar water heater uses the energy from the sun to heat up the water which can be used for taking bath understood next is observe the picture given below identify where the solar energy is used the car uses solar energy to run then the ship is using solar energy to run okay these are the different kinds of examples where the solar energy can be used and different devices to run okay like solar uh, cooker okay solar water heater then solar light write the names of the solar energy devices that you have seen or used solar cooker solar water heater like this you can write another three examples okay next last one uh, last one for this video is the wind energy so wind energy now before that a uh, use of solar energy for different works reduces the use of electricity and prevents pollution of the environment so wind energy air is one of the sources of energy moving air possesses energy this is called the wind energy moving air possesses the energy you know of the wind mills isn't it in ancient times people used to make boats and ships sail on the oceans with the help of wind wind mill rotates due to the fast movement of the wind turbines rotate due due to the wind energy producing electricity the same electricity we can use in uh, different activities this uh, the ship using uh, wind energy to sail and the windmill 
you can see the pictures so remaining part of the lesson we'll cover it up in the next video children i hope you have understood till here stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children try to do the activities that are in your textbook thank you